Howdy Om, it's day 282 of Song Divine, the Daily Gita. We're in chapter 16, the divine and the demonic. Krishna has kind of been going on and on about the traits of the demonic. You know, we could call them uh, negative traits, uh, selfish traits. Um, there's other words we can use, evil, but Krishna is using the word demonic. But as, as a contrast to the divine, the divine and the demonic, right? So he here he says, plagued by fear and anxiety, they strive for gratification of their desires, their highest goal, unaware of the fear's causation. People who have these demonic traits look for gratification outside of themselves. They look for gratification at the mall. They look for gratification from relationships, from you know any any object that they could buy, any power, any position, any uh, you know title that they have. Uh, they think that's going to make them you know feel great about themselves. But. You know, that's only a temporary thing. It doesn't last. They always want more and more and more and more. And that can never, never be satisfied. The only thing, as we know from being on a spiritual path, from, you know, having divine traits, right? As I assume everyone who's watching this video does, because you're watching this video, you want spiritual growth. You want to learn the Gita. You're on a path towards the divine, which is great. You know, we... We know that the only true gratification we can get, the only true satisfaction, the only true happiness and joy we can get is through our connection with the divine. So we always want to move towards that. So, um, yeah, it's like in A Course in Miracles, uh, they go through this whole thing where there's only fear and there's love. Well, if love is the divine, then fear is the demonic because fear is the cause of the desire, right? Fear is the cause of I don't have enough. People don't respect me. I need more. I need more this, you know, power. I need more money. I need more whatever. That all comes from fear. It doesn't come from love. So interesting to think about. And if you guys have studied Course in Miracles, I have. I think it's fantastic. You know, write to me and say if you see any other parallels with the Bhagavad Gita, because I think there's a lot, and it's really interesting. Okay, see you tomorrow. Thanks.